you, you, dude, if the guy was any good, they would have, they, they, you, you would have paid him, and you didn't. You know what I mean? So he's a backup, backup. You know what I mean? Backup, backups almost as is 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 almost as is is uh almost um you know uh safe is one of the safest jobs in the NFL. Backup quarterback. You know what I mean? You almost to say you say damn near safer than a kicker and the punter because when are you going to play? Seriously. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jeff. You might get. Jeff might want to lead a room for this one. Or if you have anybody who is a New England home, uh, they might want to lead. I'm just joking. But New England last year, 20, uh, losing record for Belichick. Very rare. But. This team was in the playoff uh, pitcher most of the year, mm-hmm. and they just ran into the buzzsaw at the end of the year because they didn't have the finishers. And, you know, we know Belichick for having finishers, and he just doesn't have them anymore. And, you know, pretty much um, I know that Mac Jones was was very hyped up when he came in, but it seems like they're ready to show him the front door right now um, in New England. Like anything to show him the front door. Um, I feel like Bill Belichick is probably not on the hot seat, but he knows he Bill Belichick's smart enough to know that when it's time to walk away. And I know that he knows that this season is a make or break for him. If this team doesn't win more than nine games or so, if they don't have a winning record this year, Bill has to really consider moving on, you know, in my opinion, because it's just really telling on where we're going as a franchise with the Patriots. We already moved on from time almost five years, almost three, four, five years ago. Bill, you're still here. We're not winning game. We're not. We've been to the playoffs once since Tom left. What are we doing here, Bill? You know, you're one of the, you're one of the oldest coaches in the, in the league right now. We know that you got a great system. We know that everything works out, but we're not winning anymore. So, you know, we have to figure it out. What are we going to do here? You know what I mean? That's that's a big question that you do have with the Patriots. But when you look at Bill Belichick and you look at the man Bill Belichick is and what he's created in New England, you always have to take them as serious as possible. These guys are literally like you think they're dead, but they're not. You know what I mean? It's they're they're literally the undertaker of the AFC East. You know what I mean? You you hit him with every finishing move that you could, and and the guy still raises from the dead. And you know that's where you have to factor in New England being such a spoiler in this division this year, because New England's going three and three. They're not going to have an under five hundred record in the East. We know this. The Jets, that's a, that's a guaranteed win, either in New York or in New England. That doesn't matter. Miami is probably a guaranteed win in New England. And Buffalo has been giving you some issues over the last few years. But we know that you're going to match up with all three of them. And you're going to be their biggest headache throughout the season. So I truly do feel that with New England, it's a really 50-50 situation on how you uh, book it. What are your thoughts about your local team? Well, you asked about Bill. Bill's got 19 wins to pass Shula. Um, I was on Sports Map Radio last night where uh, the uh, host asked me. He got a six and a half number in one of the local shops. And as you're putting up seven and a half for the under overs, um, Bill's trying to recreate the light, uh, late 90s, early 2000s where they won with defense. They, uh, they got the kid from Oregon, Christian Gonzalez. Their defense will be good. I, I, I really want to say this, Pops. I think, believe it or not, they might have the best defense in the East. Now, offensively, what was their biggest move of the year? Uh, they brought Bill O'Brien in to be the OC to help Mac. Offensively, they let Damian Harris go to Buffalo. They have Ramondre Stevenson and a cloud of dust. Uh, their old line is in shambles right now. Wide receivers, uh, the we don't know Kendrick Bourne, Devontae Parker, uh, 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 Thornton, who's struggling real bad. 
Uh, they, they brought over Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, Mike Kosecki at tight end. They still have Hunter Henry. So many question marks there. They're going to try to beat you 21 to 20 every week. I think they're going to be a thorn in the side to a lot of teams. They open up at home against Philly. That will be a huge, huge test. I would put Philly on upset alert, believe it or not, that opening week in New England. There, I think that first week will tell a, a, a big, big tale on where this team is going. They cannot go. They have a hard time competing with high-octane offenses. They got Jalen Hurts. They got, uh, I think they got Burrow this year. I think they got Mahomes this year. They got uh, Josh Allen twice. They got, um, obviously, Aaron Rodgers twice, Tua twice. So uh, your six-and-a-half number, I would go to the over. I think defensively they're going to keep them in a lot of games. Uh, offensively, big question, you know, is Ramonda touching the ball 20, 25 times a game? Uh, uh, is it 21-20? Is it 23-20? Uh, any game that they got to score more than 24 points will most likely be a loss. But I think they are actually a nice value this year because everyone's overlooking them compared to what's here in the East. Uh, are they going to win the division? No. I No. But at plus 500, someone wants a, 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 a nice beer coaster or something to hang on the wall to hold on to. God bless you. But, uh, again, I, I he's here to get those 19 wins. Uh, I could see a, a, a 9 and 8 this year. Uh, could slip to 8 and 9. If you're talking a 6 and 11, if you're talking a 5 and 12, well, Bill might be showing the door, Pops. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I I'm with you. I was gonna say that too. I feel like this team is a uh it's they're over seven and a half. I feel like that's gonna happen. And I feel like they're more of a eight that 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 they're gonna char- cause issues. They're gonna be right there in the uh mix of trying to make the playoffs, Jeff. We know this because it's gonna get ugly in the AFC we, on a weekly basis. It's gonna be game, it's gonna be upsets nobody sees coming. And the Patriots are going to be right in the middle of that because going to Foxborough is still a tough task. It's been a tough task for the last 60 years. So we know, and especially when it gets to the bad weather in New England as well, too. Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, them all day. Um, So but we'll see, though. We just don't have the same dominant bunch that we had with the Patriots. The Patriots used to be a square in the NFL. The, 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 those days are long gone now. Those days are long gone. But that five to one is 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 a little sexy though. You know, what I mean? it's sexy. It's sexy. 